Question number six says, write the following sequence in quote, first term form. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it out, writing it as an equation first, and then I'm gonna translate it into first term form. Uh, this, if you look closely, is a linear arithmetic function, right? I'm adding the same thing. In fact, what I'm adding here is, what am I adding? No, I'm not, it's not arithmetic, is it? I'm multiplying. It appears that I am multiplying by the number three, I think. Uh, let me grab my calculator and verify that. So if I take 45 and I divide that by the previous term, which is 15, I get that that, that ratio is three. So let's stick, extend this to the next one up, right? 135 divided by its previous term, which was 45, and I get a ratio of three. So I'm starting to see that I have a common ratio here, right? Each time I'm multiplying by the number three. Let's check it one last time. So if I'm at 405 and I divide that by 135, I get a common ratio of three. So clearly this is arithmetic. My common ratio is three. Uh, so if I want to write this arithmetic sequence, right, it's, it's going to be of the form y equals uh, a, let's see, y equals a times b raised to the x power. Um, so a, of course, is my initial value. Here I'm starting out at 15. And b is my, my multiplier, right, my common ratio. And here I'm multiplying by 3 each time. So my function would look like y equals 15 uh, times 3, and I'm going to raise that to the uh, x power. So that should be it as an equation, right? And so for example, if I say, hey, a is 0, or rather x is 0, when x is 0, let me, let me do this. Someone said they liked seeing this in class. So, and then this is 15 times 3 to the x. So when x is 0, right, y is going to be 15 times 3 to the 0 power. 3 to the 0 power is equal to 1, so this is just equal to 15. If it's 1, right, if x is 1, this becomes 15 times 3 to the first. So I'm just multiplying by a single factor of 3. 15 times 3 is 45. If it's a 2, this is 15 times 3 squared. So that means I'm multiplying by 3 twice. So that's 15, 3, 3. 15 times 3 times 3. And I, I can see that that's 135. And the same thing is true for the third and final term. So this is it in not first term form, right? This is where I plug in 0 and I get my starting value. I want to plug in 1 and get my starting value. I want first term form. So that's going to look like this. y will equal 15 times, and it's the same modification I made in the last question. Instead of writing x, I'm going to raise this to the quote or parentheses n minus 1 power. So I'm just replacing that. Oh, you know, I should make this look like function notation. So I'm going to say t of n equals 15 times 3 raised to the n minus 1 power. So this is this geometric sequence in first term form. If I want to know the first term, I plug 1 in for n, and it gives me uh, 15. If I plug in 2, it will give me, um, it will give me actually 2 minus 1, it'll give me 45. When I plug in 3, I want the third term. It's going to give me the number 135, and if I plug in 4, I get the, that first number right up there, 405. That's it for question 6.